Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO, DPC Technology. And today we're gonna to do a deep dive into the differences between the AI Pro and the G5 Pro and decide which camera might be right for you. In my video a couple weeks ago where I compared all the Unify cameras, the link will be down in the description, a lot of people in the comments asked about the difference between the G5 Pro and the AI Pro. I think this is at the, the margin of where most people are trying to make their buying decisions. And there are a couple of differences between each camera. We're gonna go through the, the specs of each one and kind of show you the differences and the similarities because these cameras are more similar than they are different. And then we'll go into the software and we'll kind of look at and see the image quality difference between the two cameras. So let's jump right in. You know, looking at the specs, as I mentioned before, there are more similarities between these two cameras than there are differences. But let's start off with just kind of the basics. So the AI Pro is $499 and the G5 Pro is $379 for the base unit. The image sensor on the AI Pro is a little bit bigger. It's one over one eighth of an inch versus a half inch for the uh, G5 Pro. The G5 Pro sensor says it has HDR, but I would contend that the a AI Pro has HDR as well. Um, you can see the, that processing when we jump into the images. The AI Pro has two-way audio, so if that's important to you, it's definitely an advantage of the AI Pro over the G5 Pro. And the AI Pro has the quad-core ARM53 uh, processor versus the dual-core ARM53 processor in the G5 Pro. The only other differences are that the G5 Pro comes with a pole mount in the kit and that the AI Pro has the AI detections and the G5 Pro has the image enhancer, the vision enhancer. Um, and so those last two, the, the advanced AI detections and the floodlight and uh, IR vision enhancer on the G5 Pro, those are the two real big differences between these cameras and probably change the use case on which one somebody would buy. By the time you add the vision enhancer to the G5 Pro, if you decide to go that route, you're talking about a $478 camera to a $499 camera. So we're only talking about $21 difference between the two cameras. It's not that big of a deal. So um, let's jump in the images real quick and let's start talking about those differences. As you can see here, I've got the two cameras up. I've also got the PTZ and the AI bullet down below, but it's just these top two cameras that we're looking at here. And this is the AI Pro. Uh, you'll see right, right off the bat that they has an overlay for um, the AI detections, which is really nice. It's detecting a couple license plates and seeing a person walk in the parking lot. It can tell the difference between an SUV, a van, uh, and a sedan. Um, those are all really nice features to have, but let's look at the image quality in and of itself. Um, like I mentioned before, I believe this is an HDR you know, image anyways. You can kind of see that HDR halo around things that you get with HDR. Um, but that being said, this is super crispy and sharp. If you compare the two of them, this being the G5 Pro, you can see that the field of view is almost identical. I mean, in fact, it is identical. Uh, they are both mounted on a board up in the ceiling at our office. So the, you know, any slight variations you're seeing there is just probably one being off center from the other one or just adjusted a little bit to the left or the right. You know, the first thing I see on this image is that this is a little bit more warm. Um, you know, but that being said, we could go into the, uh, the software itself and adjust any of that if we really wanted to, to make the images look identical. There is some HDR going on on this image, but uh, like I said before, I think it's a little less than the other one and a little less crispy. Um, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Um, I, you know, I think they're both really, really good images. Now I'm zooming in here digitally. I'm not using the uh, optical zoom. This is a really, really nice image. So th that's kind of my tier number one. If you're just looking for the best pro camera right now, and you just want daytime imaging, I think the G5 Pro without the image enhancer being $120 less, I think that this is probably your winner and I would go with this. If I did not need detections and I didn't want to spend money for the image enhancer, uh, I think the price at 379 uh, it's a fair price for this this image and nobody would be upset with this image. If I go in here, I can zoom in on license plates and see them. You know, is it gonna be as good as the AI Pro that just does it automatically? No, but if I don't need that feature, I could save $129, I think that's, that's adequate. But let's jump into the cameras themselves. I'm gonna go into the AI Pro here. Audio on both of them is very similar and unfortunately it doesn't translate super well on, uh, on YouTube, but I'll be quiet for a second and let you hear what that sounds like.
you can hear that person getting a little frothy on the brakes there and squealing a little bit. Um, but you know, good enough. I can hear what's going on out there. It's, it's pretty decent. In here, I think the, the, you know, the feature that I really like about the pros in and of themselves, especially with this AI for license plate detection, is this optical zoom. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it to where I normally keep this feature. I normally keep it zoomed in right about here. And the reason I do write about here is it's at 100% at getting license plates at this distance. So you'll see when this car presents itself, it's gonna lock in and get that license plate as soon as it came into field of view. If I was wide, it would not get that, that license plate. So that's an awesome feature. Uh, but just, you know, as far as the optics go, optical zoom is pretty awesome just in and of itself. I can zoom in here and you can see once I zoomed in, it actually, it's getting this license plate now over here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and zoom in on the G5 Pro 2. Also be quiet for a second and let you hear audio. You can hear, I would say out of the two of them, if I was gonna rate that completely unscientifically, I would give the winner there to the AI Pro. Uh, the G5 uh, does have a a noise uh, reduction feature. So I, I don't see that feature on the AI Pro. Uh, I'm gonna go in here and do the optical zoom here as well. Just showing you the same thing. I mean, the optical zoom on these is, is really nice. It seems pretty far in, it's same thing here. Let's see if I can read that. BTI 20R, you know, very similar. For both of them, every once in a while, and this is Protect, and this is, I don't know if it's just my version of Protect or this version of Protect, Every once in a while when I do the, the zoom adjustment, it doesn't quite stick. Uh, then I have to go back in and do it a second time. Probably just a little bug, no big deal. Other than that, you know, I could go in here on each, each of these and, and kind of mess with the contrast and get that a little uh, saturated and a little less hue in it if I kind of went down here. And, oops, no, it's just gonna change it to pink. But uh, let's go the other way and go a little blue. Yeah, see, I can kind of get that warmth out of there. You know, I don't know which one's more true. I don't think it really matters. I think they're both really pretty decent images. But if I was, you know, uh, OCD about it, I could go in there and kind of make them look more similar, which is those adjustments. There is this noise reduction uh, feature on the microphone. Filter excessive ambient noise, clear audio, recommended for cameras installed in a windy location. I think it was doing a pretty good job. It's a little bit of wind out there today, but not a ton. I think it was doing a pretty decent job of that. So I'm gonna go over here to the detection screen just to show you that the biggest differences here between the two cameras. So I've got the, both of these cameras turned on right now in these detections. And so it's showing me every one of the detections that each one of these cameras is making. And you can see, you know, I've got a lot of cameras on the building and I got a lot of activity in front of the building. Sorting is going to be a major, major issue uh, with these two uh, cameras. So let me go through the difference in these detections. The biggest point here is that the latest version of Protect uh, 2.11.21 came out with all of these uh, detections, which are amazing. And I'm gonna go through them here with you real quick. So the G5 and the AI, all the AI series got cat, dog, cow, sheep, horse, deer, and bear detection. So obviously I'm here in a business park and I don't get to do very many of those detections, but it says that those are for the G5 and the AI. So I'm gonna take them at their word on that. The G5 and the AI series both got baby crying detection. Uh, but here is where we really start to split the difference between these two cameras. The AI series got um, for audio detection, they got speaking, car horn, car alarm, glass breakage, and barking. It also got vehicle detection. And for vehicle detection, it got car, van, truck, bus, motorcycle, bike, and SUV. Awesome, really cool stuff. And for the AI series, it also got the color of the vehicle, which is super huge. It's got black, blue, brown, gray, green, orange, pink, purple, red, white, and yellow. So let's jump back over into the software and this is really where I think the AI separates it from the G5. If I look at these two cameras here in these detections, down below, I get all of these features that I just mentioned. And you'll see if I unto the AI Pro and I go for the G5 Pro and I say color of vehicle, nothing comes up. If I say bus, nothing comes up. If I say audio type, barking nothing comes up. So my point there is that none of these work. The license plate detection doesn't work, but let's go ahead and throw the AI Pro in here and see how powerful this feature is. And I really think this is one of the most powerful features that uh, Ubiquiti has come out in 
with in a long, long time. And I think this is now starting to put Ubiquiti on par with all of the other camera systems out there. So let's just say I want to see every time a black car came into my parking lot and was a SUV. So this is now every detection of a black SUV. So if the neighbor calls up and says, hey, I think somebody did something in my parking lot and it was a red SUV, and I think it happened on this and this day, all I have to do is put those in, scroll to that day, and I'm gonna get it. Now you can see, sometimes there's a false positive. That's not obviously not a red car, but there is a red car in front of it. So maybe that wasn't a false positive. I've been really happy with all of the ones that I've seen here that I've gone back and double checked. They've been pretty good. So, I mean, that doesn't mean everything is 100%, 100% of the time, but it's really cool. So let's see every time, let's just do no color on the car and just a car horn. Okay, so we got a car horn. And you can hear it, car horn, pretty cool. I don't know how useful a car horn is, Speaking, this one might be an important one to somebody to see if you know somebody's out front um, and they're talking. So that's you can meet and Mallory out there speaking in the front yard. They're walking by. So, you know, that may be important to somebody at some point. The real kicker, though, and the biggest kicker of all of them is this license plate detection. So the ability to go through and be able to detect license plates is super huge. Now, I've done a full video on that. I'll put a link down in the description to how I tuned my system to get the best license plate detections and make sure we're getting all license plate detections, but it's pretty amazing. And so, so it sees these license plates come and go, so three, five, four, and then I can, I can search by that and see every time that same car came and left the parking lot. Really super powerful, especially if you're going through large bits of data. So three, five, four, unfortunately that was the only time there. So I can also grab one that I know is here all the time and you can just see, you know, every time that person comes and leaves, super, awesome. Sorting through this amount of data is very difficult when you have a lot of cameras. And obviously, you know, I've got more than the, just these cameras up um, and being able to go to you find your detections very quick and easily, super important. So I, it's a huge advantage to the AI Pro. And honestly, probably the reason that I would suggest the AI Pro over the G5 Pro. But wait one minute, there is an advantage that the G5 Pro has, and we're going to have to wait till nighttime to test it. All right, with the magic of YouTube, we're back and it is dark. Uh, you can see it is actually the next day. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I could not stay late, um, but uh, they've actually trimmed the hedges yesterday. So that's cool. But um, you can see uh, the two cameras com compared here at night. Um, this is just both in their auto settings. Um, both are in IR mode and both of these images are really nice. You can see that the, the lot's illuminated pretty well. I will apologize for everybody, and I know everybody's gonna say it right now, um, that it doesn't get really super dark in my parking lot. This is true. So if you're looking for a comparison in a pitch black field or whatever, um, you're probably not gonna see that here. We're in a business park and there is residual light. That's, as a matter of fact, it's so bright that this AI uh, bullet that is on uh, auto here to, to turn over into dark mode, uh, it never goes into dark mode because there's so much light from the, the unit next door. Actually, I have my wife here who's about to pull the car in front of the camera here so we can look at license plate detection in dark mode. So now you can see here we have the IIR going. You also notice that there was some motion that uh, just a minute ago that uh, sparked the motion sensor in the G5 Pro and the extender turned on, the floodlight turned on, and it went from uh, IR mode into uh, normal mode. So I'm going to manually make both of those happen, but first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to do license plate detection on the AI Pro in my normal setting, which is uh, zoomed in about halfway. So let's go in here and we'll go into optical zoom and we're gonna go about halfway. And we will see uh, Margaret is pulling the car into position there and we'll see if it is able to detect the license plate as she does that. And she is now, she's just gonna kind of stop in that position there and you can see in IR mode, we are not getting license plate detection. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go into the camera real quick and I'm gonna force it into not going into night mode and we'll see what we get as far as license plate detections there. Uh, still not getting detection. All right, so I've had Margaret go back in. Uh, now we're gonna test it without IR on and we're just gonna do it in regular mode here. So now she's going, bye and 
she's going to pull out. Let's see if it grabs it. And I don't think it got it. That being said, let me just go back over into detections and just see. Sometimes it doesn't to give you the overlay and you're not quite sure. So let me go over to detections. Um, I have a feeling you're going to need a lot of light in the parking lot. You can see Margaret going back and forth there. Let's go to license plate detections. Ah, it did get her. It got her. It got her in night mode. And it got her in... Got her both times. Well, that's really cool. That is semi-conclusive proof that it does work at night. I know that was a question that a lot of you asked about of license plate detection. Is it, uh, does it work at night? Um, I don't have a lot of people coming and going at night here. So, um, you know, obviously your mileage may vary there. I also have that zoomed in pretty far to make this happen. Um, so that's, uh, you know, somewhat unscientific, but that is in fact the correct license number there. And so uh, I will call that a mild success. One thing I will tell you about IR emitters, and one of the things I was concerned about there is uh, the stronger you get with an IR emitter, it will sometimes overpower um, a license plate. The IR emitter on the G4 PTZ, which is a super strong IR emitter, when you shine it at a license plate, that license plates are almost un unreadable because it's so strong that the reflective surfaces of license plates just blow it out. The AI Pro's lack of a super strong IR emitter actually is a is an advantage there says it doesn't do this though the license plate you saw that you could actually see that on it the IR emitter um, on the G5 Pro you know it's strong but it's not overblowing it either let's go here on the G5 Pro you can see here it's pretty blown out it's pretty hard to read um, the IR emitter kind of overdoes it so what I'm going to do here is I will go real quickly into settings here and change this over to uh, always disable and apply. It is way more readable um, in uh, without the IR extender and all that stuff on, uh, just you know, with the ambient light. One thing I will say about these sensors is uh, very sensitive to in low light. I, I almost think um, you know in this condition that they are almost better without it in my particular instance. So obviously your mileage will, may vary. If I was you know looking out at, uh, at somebody's backyard or a, a field that was pitch black, I can tell you that the range extender makes a big difference in that that area. But here, in my uh, in my particular parking lot, I think these cameras almost look better and do a better job with nothing on. Let's just look at this image and we'll just do some pixel peep in here. Um, I mean, I think this is a really good image. I'm going to be able to see any intruder walking around. I, I, the color gives it just an extra quality that you don't get in IR. And this is relatively dark out there. I mean, it's not. Um, you know, it's not pitch black by any means, um, but you can see that how well these sensors do in um, in these low light areas. With the IR off and just using the, the sensor itself, I do think the AI Pro sensor being a little bit bigger is a little bit more sensitive to light. This is just a really good image. And if you're in an area where you don't really need a range extender or anything, I think it's a toss up here. The one killer feature though, that I really like on the G5 Pro and the Vision Enhancer, um, in my use case, obviously where I have a lot of ambient light is the floodlight. I'm gonna have Margaret walk down there and uh, you should see the floodlight come on uh, when she walks into the frame here. Then here she comes back in the frame. You can see how that IR uh, emitter reflects off of her shoes that are, and so she came into frame, it turns on. The thing I like about this is it just alerts people to the presence of uh, surveillance. And if you wanted to, you certainly could use the uh, AI Pro with the floodlight. You know, it's a separate unit there uh, that you could have and mount on the wall there and have that those same features. Um, but it is quite impressive. You know, for a floodlight for $99, by the time you had a, uh, an electrician come in and put a floodlight on the side of your building or whatever, you're you're you know you're probably talking way more than $99. Um, and uh, I think it works pretty well. You can see one more time. She should walk through the frame again and. There it goes. You can see, you know, again, the camera, this camera is just so sensitive. You can see also uh, from the animal detection people, you just saw it put a little paw on sketch there, uh, knowing that he is a dog. Uh, and that was pretty cool. You know, in comparison to the image quality, I'm going back and forth here. I don't think there's much in it, guys. I think the actual sensor quality, I'm going to give a slight edge to the, U the AI Pro, but there's not a lot in it. And uh, I think at the end of the day, the use case for these two cameras, it's pretty clear for me. Uh, what I'm looking at here is 
kind of three different levels. And I think these these cameras could be interchangeable. You know, at four ninety nine, it's a pretty uh, pretty significant investment. In my particular install here, you can see these four corners of the building that I'm looking at here. I probably would use different cameras in different spots. For me, the license plate detection is an incredible feature, but I really probably only need that in this location where you see the G5 Pro because I can focus the, the field of view into that one little area and that works out perfect for me. Uh, I get kind of the best of both worlds. In the, where you see the AI Bullet, an AI Pro would be good Would be good there. I have a, a couple other cameras that are facing the back of the building. If I wanted the image quality of these two Pros, I could put a G5 Pro somewhere else in the, in the parking lot. Where the G4 PTZ is, is where people walk across this, this kind of sidewalk that goes from one side of my building to the other. And it might be nice to have one there with the vision enhancer just to have the floodlight come on to alert people that uh, you know you're being surveilled. Three different le price levels there at 379. If I just wanted nice image quality, I could put the G5 Pro by itself somewhere. If I wanted to spend another $99 for the floodlight, I think the value's there. By the time I buy the floodlight separately and, and run a Cat6 cable to it and get it all hooked up. It's probably more hassle than it's worth and the $99 for the image enhancer, I think is worth it. Also, if I was in, and I, I know it doesn't show it here, but if I was in a dark backyard, I do think the IR extender, you know, going quite a, a bit further is, is nice. Uh, and the example that I will use there in my parking lot is the, the G4 PTZ. The IR emitter on it is amazing and it really does light up uh, an area. And honestly, you know, the, the clear winner for me and where I think I would put my investment is the AI Pro. And if I wanted the floodlight, I would just run another Cat6 cable over there and buy uh, the, the floodlight and put it next to it. I know uh, over the last 12 months, Ubiquiti has done a lot with uh, Protect and they have added a bunch of enhancements to it. And I want the latest, greatest hardware that can run it is able to use those detections. I wish those enhancements could work in the G4 PTZ or the G5 Pro but obviously they're not gonna make those backwards compatible. So I think you're future-proofing yourself and for the small premium, I think you're really getting a lot for your value there. One thing I didn't mention, I forget to mention in my comparison earlier, is the G5 Pro is uh, 100 megabits per second and the uh, AI Pro is uh, well, gigabit per second. I don't think that connectivity really makes a big difference at all in the practical world. You can see the image quality of both of them in HD looks almost identical and one is streaming at 100 megabits and one's like one gigabit. I don't think that really matters uh, in, the, in the real world of practicality. So I, I, I forgot to mention that difference before. That is a true difference, but I don't think it really matters at all. Other than that, I, you know, I also want to clarify that it, you know, in my lighting conditions that we were able to do license plate detections with both IR and with, uh, with IR off. I am zoomed in a little bit more than I was during my daytime detections, but I think if somebody is looking to do detections at night with this, you should be able to do that and you should be able to get pretty satisfactory results. If there's anything else I've missed here or anything else you want to go through, uh, you know, obviously that license plate detection, is, it was a question that I got on or a license plate detection uh, tuning video. Um, so I, you know, it's a great source for me to get ideas for my next video. So please leave those comments down below. As always, like and subscribe. We put the videos up weekly and we'd love to see you guys in the next video.